As we've said a number of times in the seminars, Google, whilst being a useful search engine for most of your day-to-day -day things, is not the type of search engine that you're going to use to search for academic articles all that often. However, Google does have another option, which is Google Scholar. And we're going to have a look at Google Scholar now. So we'll just click on Google Scholar, find it, and click on the search thing. Or you can notice if it says there, scholar.google.com.au. Let's click on that one. Now, notice that there's a slightly different architecture about Google Scholar. However, it does have the same search bar there that we can do a straightforward and simple search. So let's go and click in there and let's do our search for fake news and click on that. Now you'll notice immediately that the number of results is significantly down on what you might have found for a similar search on the standard Google search. You'll notice also that the results carry with them a range of different other designations, some of which are useful. One of those in particular is this one here, the one that says cited by. Cited by means that it's being referenced by, in this particular case, 1,089 different people. And uh, we can find out those citations and where they all came from by clicking on that link there, which is quite a useful way to find further articles that are similar to that one. You'll notice also that there are a range of other different options here. We can star it, which means to save that particular reference. If we click on that one, we have to be signed in with our Google account. It will star it and spin it around like so. And that means that we can access that. It's in our Google account for later on. I'll show you where that is in a moment. Notice also there are some citation marks here. If we click on a citation mark, it brings up a citation uh, screen here, which has got how that one can be cited. Now, again, of course, we could copy that one and we can put that in our citation list, unfortunately. However, whilst it says Harvard, it is not Deakin Harvard, and there are quite a few details missing that we would require to get in, put into our reference list if we're going to use it. Notice, too, that there are also here a thing that says related articles. And again, if we open that one up with a right mouse click, we can go here and there are a number of related articles there that could be again be quite useful. So once we find one, we've got a number of different other places we can go to to search. Notice that there are 21 versions in this particular case, 11 versions. So that means it's housed in a range of different repositories. We'll talk a little bit more about that one later too. Now you'll notice that over here, we've got some date ranges here that we can enter, which is quite useful remembering that we want recent articles in most cases for our research. Uh, we can also sort by dates and, and the relevance and so forth there too as well. Patents and citations, we can get rid of those if we want to. We can also create an alert. And what an alert means is that next time we go into uh, Google Scholar, it might tell us that there's something that's arrived in there that might be of use to us. Notice down the side down here, we've also got a range of different things that we can work with too. So we've got our library here. So I click on my library there, that will open up and you'll see that there's the one that I've just put in there. That's the article that we quoted and, so, and uh, saved before. So it's in my library. That's, so that's where things go into your library. Notice also that you've got an advanced search function. So you can find articles with all of the words. So if we did fake news and we wanted the exact phrase Donald Trump. We can put that in there if we spelled it right. Uh, and if we put in there one, at least one of these, um, we want um, America. And without the words um, Australia, we can do that. Where the words have to be, they could be anywhere in the article, in the title. Uh, if we knew an author, we could put their author's things in. If we knew some places where they were published or the dates, we could put those in there. And if we click on search then, what it will do, it will bring up and OK. So we've only got one thing that we've got possible there. Notice up here, there's our search options there. We went for fake news with America and having Donald Trump it had to, but not referring to Australia in there. OK, let's just click on this particular article and uh, see where it goes to, see what we can find out. We click on this one here. It will open up our article. There's our article there. And there's our abstract, etc., etc., etc. Now, 
sometimes when we go searching for something we can find some things uh, let's just say go on to this one here and we might find that that particular thing is one where we have to pay for or uh, to register and that sort of stuff normally when you're at university you don't have to do any of those things and the way to do that is if you do find something in google scholar then you should also go searching for it in the deacon library because there you'll be able to access it free without having to register or pay for it so there you go a quick look at google scholar